Indian, a global leader in security and connectivity for industrial Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine communications. Companies need a solution to connect their global workforce to their field equipment in order to do things like access information, monitor equipment status, provide enhanced remote services or support, and much more. This solution should provide role-based access to one or more specific applications in order to seamlessly communicate with remote field endpoint equipment. Indian has developed this all-new solution in a simple and secure offering using a custom-built remote services platform called the Indian Switchboard. Let's look at some specific use case scenarios of the Indian Switchboard solution. We'll start with the IT user group, who are responsible for managing and supporting all the technical equipment at two different locations. They need access to a wide variety of tools that enable them to manage machine settings, perform remote monitoring, and get console access to IT equipment. They also need full permissions to add or edit users, groups, or devices as needed, as well as make changes to the switchboard itself. Let's take a video tour of what this would look like. Once we've launched the Switchboard Connect app, we'll provide our Switchboard server information along with our username and password for the IT user that's already been set up and hit Connect. Once connected, the first thing you'll see are our two locations, Houston and Milan, and the relevant IT equipment that we have available at each location for this user. For each piece of equipment, we have corresponding actions that will launch applications on our local computer to connect us securely to that remote device. For example, for this network switch in Houston, we've defined an action that will take us to the web-based management page so we can log in and make changes or monitor the switch status. Another example at our Milan office we have a Windows XP machine that we've set up an action to launch a remote desktop session, presumably so we can utilize this computer to perform various actions. Lastly, we've set up console access to a server utilizing an encrypted SSH connection, which you can see here. In addition to accessing remote sites, this IT user can make other changes, like manage individual users, which you can see listed here, or manage groups of users. This user can also manage gateway devices for all our various locations and put them into logical groups as well. The next component we can manage are the applications we wish to provide for our users, such as remote desktop or web browser, and we can group these applications together into application profiles or groups. The last tab is to manage the actual switchboard server and its configuration settings. You can actually make changes to the server using either the Connect app, which we see here, or via the traditional web interface on our Indian device. Next, we have a control group who are responsible for configuring and monitoring the HMI unit at the Milan office. They should only be able to access this specific HMI device for a specific purpose and should only be able to manage users within their own group and no other permissions. Let's now look at this scenario. We are now going to log in to the switchboard using the username and password of a control user that has already been provisioned. Once the app has connected, you'll notice right away that this user can only connect to the Milan office and more specifically, the HMI device at that location. For that device, we can perform various actions like remote desktop or connect to its website, which is demonstrated here with the sample server page being displayed. The only other option we have is to manage the users, but this is limited to just those users in the control group and no others.
Last, we have an external vendor who only manages a single printer at the Houston location. This group can only connect to the printer management interface and do nothing else. They have no group, user, or device permissions. Let's take a look at this last example. So let's now log in to the switchboard using the username and password of our vendor user that was previously configured. Right away, you see that the user is only presented with the ability to connect to this one location to access only this printer. The actions given to this user only allow him or her to pull the web-based administration page for this printer, as you can see here. There are no other user privileges or permissions which were made very specific in keeping with this user job role. Thanks for watching our brief demonstration of the Indian Switchboard. To learn more about Indian, the Switchboard, or our line of industrial gateways, visit us at www.indian.com.